Good morning, Live Pie Land. All over the world today, we greet you in the name of he whom we love because he first loved us. He gave his life at the cross of Calvary and won our hearts. His name is Jesus Christ, to whom be glory both now and forevermore. Well, in Exodus 21, uh, there was a bond servant or an indentured servant. He was a man that would contractually agree with the master of a house to serve him for six years, and then the seventh year he would go free. But during that six-year period, if uh, the servant uh, fell in love with the master, in other words, the master was so kind and so gracious and so generous uh, that the servant just wanted to stay with the master, plus the master had given him a wife and he had children, he, he, he might say that he didn't want to go free. So in Exodus 21, 5, it says that the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, I love my wife, I love my children, I will not go out free. Well, th this is incredible because he puts his, his master before his wife and children. But you know, th that's the way it is in the things of God. The Lord Jesus said in Matthew 10, 37, He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. He that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. So God is the one that gave family. And in order for these relationships to be at their best, Jesus Christ must be first. He must be the head of the home. And he has won our hearts, just like that, uh, that master had won this servant's heart. And so we, we serve him. So what the, the master was to do, he was to take his servant, take him before the judges. The judges would hear the servant's testimony to make sure he plainly said uh, he wasn't being coerced, that he's going to stay with his master, serve him forever. Then the master would take uh, the servant to uh, the door of his house and take an awl, which was a uh, 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 an instrument used to like pierce through leather and he would put the servant's ear against the door and with the awl pierce uh, through that man's ear and it would go into the door so that there was always this this sign that the servant's ear would be open to the master would be open to hearing his voice and obeying him he had this hole in his ear and it lined up whenever he went to the door of the house he would see that hole where his ear had been pierced and now it had gone into the door of the house and so this is a beautiful picture really of what a christian should be we should always have our ears open to the voice of our master the lord jesus and, and what it said in verse 6 of chapter 21, the servant said, and he shall serve him forever. Or it said of the servant, he shall serve him forever. Now, and that's the way it is uh, for us. But it's not a burden to serve him because we love him. A and he's given us uh, all these blessings. And, and the Bible says Christ's yoke is easy and his burden is light. But the real bond servant that's pictured in Exodus 21 is the Lord Jesus himself. He's the perfect bond servant. He loved the Father and he, his ear was always open to him. He said in John 8, 29, I do always those things that please him, please the Father. In John 14, 31, he said that the world may know that I love the Father, even so I do. What was he going to do? He's going to go to the cross of Calvary, where he was obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Why was he obedient? Because he loved the Father. Hallelujah. And then he loved his wife. Ephesians 5, 25 says Christ gave himself for the church. He loved the church, gave himself for for it. And then his, the believers, he loved his own, like his own children. Uh, John 13, 1, it says he loved them to the uttermost. You know, the blood that may have been on that doorpost when the master pierced through the servant's ear, that blood speaks of the blood that the Lord Jesus Christ would shed on the cross of Calvary. There was no limit to his obedience to the Father. There should be no limit to our obedience as well. And you know, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Though he's the man in the glory now, he still serves God. He still serves his Father in love. 1 Corinthians 15, 28, and he serves us as well, his people. Luke 12 and verse 37. So may we purpose in our hearts, because we love the Father, we love our Lord, we'll serve him until the day he takes us to glory. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Amen.